So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get B2B business funding and loan leads without relying on referrals, cold calling, cold email, networking events, seminars, or anything else like that. In fact, this one simple strategy will be able to get you booked appointments with people in your calendar so you don't even have to chase leads to get an appointment in the first place. And just keep in mind as I go through what has worked well for other businesses that I've worked with in the business lending space, if at any point in this video you think I don't want to do any of this myself, I'd rather you just take care of it for me, then click the link in the description of this video because we provide a complete done for you service where we can set everything up for you and then manage it for you once everything is up and running to ensure that you get the best possible results. So let's start with the number one strategy that I've seen work best for business loans and business funding and that would be Facebook ads. Now, when I say Facebook ads, that also includes Instagram because Instagram is owned by Facebook. So you can very easily run Instagram ads and Facebook ads at the same time at the click of a button. But the problem is when running Facebook ads, what most people do wrong is that they don't get good quality leads. And the reason for this is because they're either sending people to a lead form where they enter the name, email, and phone number. And then they try to chase the lead through phone calls and text messages in order to get an appointment only to later find out that they're not even a good fit in the first place. Or the other problem is even if you get good quality leads through Facebook ads, maybe the leads that you speak to are just not really interested in working with you versus one of your competitors. So how do you solve this? Well, here are two things I recommend that you do when running Facebook ads. The first thing is that you need to call out specifically who it is that you're looking to target. So don't just say that you can help businesses get more funding but actually say what kind of funding can you help businesses get and also say what kind of businesses do you work best with. So for example, if you only want to work with people with a high credit score, then actually say that in the ad. Or if you want to work with businesses that earn $20,000 a month or more, then again, you need to actually say that in the ad because when you say that in the ad, what will happen is those that are not interested in the ad will just skip it and keep scrolling. And those who are interested in the ad will actually click on it and then convert. And what happens is Facebook can see who are the ones that are looking at the ad, clicking on the ad and converting and who are the ones ignoring. It. And what the algorithm then does completely automatically, by the way, is it will show your ads to the right kind of people, the people that watch and convert on the ad and avoid showing it to those that don't convert and don't click on the ad. And this is why it's so important to call out the right kind of person you want to target in the ad itself. Because if you don't do this, you'll probably end up wasting a lot of time and money targeting the wrong kinds of people. The second way to get more business funding and B2B business loan leads is to also test out TikTok ads. Now you might be thinking TikTok ads really are any business owners even using TikTok ads? And the reality is yes, there are many businesses, millions of businesses that are using TikTok ads. So you can target them people in the same way that you would target people on Facebook ads. The main difference being that as of right now, advertising on TikTok does cost a little bit less compared to advertising on Facebook. And the reason for that is because there is less advertisers or less competition on TikTok, which means you can target a lot of the same people that are on Facebook, but you can target them at a lower cost on TikTok because again, there's less advertisers on that platform. Now it won't be like this forever and the cost will start to go higher and higher as time goes on. But in the meantime, as of recording this video right now, if you do decide to use TikTok ads, then there's a good chance that you may be able to get leads at a lower cost compared to Facebook. Now, the biggest disadvantage with TikTok ads is that the audience simply isn't as big as Facebook right now. There's still many more people on Facebook compared to TikTok. So even though you can get leads at a lower cost, you have a higher chance of eventually saturating the audience and running out of people to target. So Facebook ads is still a little bit more scalable in my opinion, but TikTok ads is a really good channel to at least use for a good few months in the beginning to get as many leads as you can at a lower cost before you move on to Facebook ads to really scale things up if you want to get leads for many years into the future. The third way you can get business loan and funding leads is through YouTube. Now, you might be thinking YouTube, isn't that really expensive when you run ads? And yes, that is true. Running ads on Google and YouTube is more expensive compared to Facebook and TikTok. However, I'm not talking about running ads on YouTube. I'm talking about actually recording videos on YouTube on topics related to business funding and getting business loans. Now, when you do this, it's really important that you don't just create content for nothing. 
So a big mistake that people make is they create all this content, all these videos and blogs and things like that, but no one actually converts from this content. So what I recommend that you do is when you create content, first of all, make sure it's content that people are actually searching for that indicate they're going to be a potential client. So this means typically creating content that have the words how to or best, such as what are the best business funding programs for and you can maybe put your niche in there, or you could maybe do how to get $100,000, $200,000, $500,000 or more in business funding. That's more of a how-to video, but creating videos like this, which indicate that someone is likely to convert into a client if they search for it or, or if they find it online, are usually the best types of videos to create. But then the second thing you wanna do with your YouTube video, and this is the mistake that a lot of people don't do, is they don't have any good call to actions. So you want to make sure that in your YouTube video, you always tell people if you want to learn more about X, Y, Z, you know, about how I can help you or about, you know, what are the best business funding programs for you and your business, then what you need to do is click the link in the description. And then what will happen is you'll actually generate leads from your YouTube video. Because at the end of the day, you could have hundreds, even thousands of views, but if no one actually converts from that video, then it's pointless. So that's why I don't know if you noticed in this video earlier on, I actually said, if you'd like to learn more about working with us, click the link in the description of this video and you'll be taken to a page where you can watch a video to learn more about how we can set everything up for you. So I do this so that I can generate leads from this video and I recommend you do the exact same thing. Have a call to action telling people to either watch a video or schedule a call or go to that next step in your sales process inside of your YouTube videos. And the best thing about YouTube is that it's completely free. So you can generate leads without having to spend any money on paid advertising. So what this means is that when you generate leads and get a new client, it's going to be a lot more profitable. The fourth way you can get business funding and B2B business loan leads is through LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn isn't necessarily my favorite channel, but I have found LinkedIn to be more effective than cold email, or cold calling or things like that. Now, I still think YouTube and paid ads is better than LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is still better than those other outreach methods that I just gone through now. And the way that it works best with LinkedIn is rather than just tell people, hey, are you looking for a business loan or business funding or anything like that, which you're more likely to get people to say no to that, or rather than saying to people, hey, would you like to jump on a call to learn more about how we can help you do XYZ, again, you're more likely to get people saying no when you do that. Instead, I recommend using LinkedIn and asking people if they want to watch a short video about how they can get business funding or business loans or whatever it might be that you can help them with. And by offering to send people a free educational video, you're more likely to get more people to say yes. And as a result, because you get more people saying yes, you can generate more leads. And then if they like what they hear or see on that video and they like what you do, they can then still schedule a call to work with you after watching that video. So you get more leads in the first place. And at the same time, you get better quality appointments because if someone watches a video first about what you do and how you can help them, they're more likely to convert into a client. And then that brings me to the fifth thing that you can do in order to get more business funding and B2B business loan leads. And that is to create a video sales letter. So you probably noticed that all the strategies I've gone through so far all talk about how you can get leads by leveraging a video. So if you're using Facebook ads or TikTok ads or YouTube or LinkedIn or whatever it is, if you send people to a video, an educational video that explains how you can help them first, you're more likely to get better quality leads. So even if you have an opt-in form, even if you have an application form, it doesn't matter. Still get people to watch an educational video first because that's going to dramatically increase the quality of the lead. And in that video, what you wanna do is you want to explain to people, what is the big problem that you can help them with? And then you want to explain to them, what are other alternative solutions to solving this problem? So for example, if it's about business loans, you could say that they could go to a traditional bank, but then what are the problems if they go to a traditional bank? You need to explain that in the video. And then after you've gone through the alternative solutions, you need to then explain why is working with you and your solution better than those alternative options that they have. And then if you do this, what's beautiful about this is that people will actually understand the value that you provide and then they'll be more likely to actually want to work with you as a result. And then that means you're not only going to get more appointments, but you're going to be getting better quality appointments because at the end of the day, in my opinion, I would rather have 
a few really good quality appointments than hundreds of really bad low quality appointments that are never going to sign up as a client in the first place. So that's the next thing that I would recommend that you do. Now, how do you actually create this video? What do you say in the video? How do you put it together in a sales funnel? And then what do you do after you generate a lead? So, you know, we've generated a lead, but not all of those leads are going to convert straight away. Some may convert weeks or months down the line. So how can you ensure that you maximize your conversions? If you'd like to learn how to do all of that, then just click the link in the description to watch my free masterclass training, where I go through how to do that in more detail. And even though the training can work for any business that needs to get more appointments to get clients, I have a lot of experience doing this specifically for people that are looking to generate more business funding leads or B2B business loan leads. So if that's something that you do and you'd like to generate more leads, but not just more leads, but more higher quality leads, then again, click the link in the description of this video, which will explain more about how the strategy we use, not just for my own business, but also for clients. It will go through how it all works in more detail. So that's it for this video and I'll see you on the other side.